I have a confession to make. I'm a photographer, but I'm not a gearhead. But every once in a while, there's a new piece of gear that comes out that is so intriguing and groundbreaking that I have to get my hands on it. As you might have heard, I have a bit of a history when it comes to tripods. It all started when my beloved, expensive 5DS fell into a lake because of one of them. Ever since then, just like that, ever since then, I've been a bit bitter about them. I don't want to be using a tripod, I want to be playing around because I hate tripods. But today, there's a new kit on the block and it's piqued my interest. You may have heard of Peak Design before. They've had several successful Kickstarter campaigns that raised over $15 million. I got to know them when they introduced their camera clip for backpacks. That was a game changer because it meant my camera was always within a few inches of my hands, ready to go. For the few years, they've been working on an entirely new product, their first ever tripod. They even said it might solve my woes with tripods. They said I wouldn't hate it. So without further ado, here's BD's first tripod. It's made out of carbon fiber, it's very small, and has a revolutionary ball head. It rotates 180 degrees, and it's as thick as a pancake. The leg clamps are made out of machine aluminium and easy to grab. Far superior than the twisty ones. And when you sit it next to other tripods, it looks like their little brother. So first impressions, they're really good. Now I want to find out if this thing actually works. It also fits on my water bottle carrier on my bike. And this is very exciting because I've been biking a lot these couple of years and it saves me a lot of trouble. Check it out. Yeah. Okay, so I can fit it in my kayak. That's a win. You touch it, I'll break it, it also fits in my backpack. There it is, and that's the other guy. Look at the size difference. <laughs> it's so teeny in fact that the loop doesn't reach. <laughs> That's how small it is. The rattle test! We're gonna do a rattle test. It's a very scientific test and it consists of getting two cameras rolling at the same time. Rolling, rolling and then sort of giving them the same amount of pressure with my two hands, like kind of like letting them fall like this. Let's begin, PD. And uh, and the non-branded tripod, ready? Oh. It's a bit of an impact on that 16. Okay, we're rolling. Let's talk about the PD. And I wanna share kind of my impressions of it. First is that they made the legs rectangular versus, you know, versus round. So it means it packs really small, like it's literally smaller than my water bottle. Uh, so way saving and also really easy to grab. Like it just feels good. Like got it, it's not gonna drop. The leg clips are really cool. Like there's plastic, I think they're plastic. So really cool because you can grab them like at once like that. And then, so super fast, like just opening it takes 
I don't know, seconds. It's not like the twisty knobs you have on most tripods, like, I don't know what they call this, like the little leg grips right here. They're like rubber, so really grippy. And they're not this, like, most of the tripods have the little stuff you can extend with spikes for traction, but they didn't bother with that, and I agree, because they're always in the way. And this is also pretty grippy. I've tried it in some steep terrain, and it kind of just grabs well into it because of the angle. The head, okay, the head is a masterpiece. No joke, because look at the size of it. This is the head, that's it. And this is a ball head, let me show you. So you untwist this guy, get this out, for example, lock it back again, and then you undo this little circle here, and boom, ball head. Little level here, um, I've never used the level, I don't know anybody who uses a level for their photos, but there's one, so it's a nice touch. I just, it just feels like really quick to use, like, I have a beef with tripods because they're always in the way and kind of clunky to set up, but this thing, man, I can be going, I don't know, I'm just ready to go in a few seconds. It's like, it's just, I just love the legs. Oh yeah, it's got an Arca Swiss plate. So that's the biggest norm of plates there. I think I finally made peace with tripods. <laughs> We're friends again. It's so stable, dude. Look. <clears throat> Not going anywhere. So, most people know my work because of the wide angle stuff, like 16, but sometimes I use extenders because I want to go really close into stuff. So, when I shoot at 800, like now, because the light's hitting that mountain across, that green patch in the middle of all the burn, I have to use an extender and I have to use a tripod. It's important to let it rest after each photo almost, because it's like at 800, so many little vibrations. I feel like as photographers, we take tripods for granted never giving much credit to that little piece of metal under our cameras that makes sure that we get the shot whenever the stars are out. Actually, some of my most iconic images were shot on a tripod. PD, I want to wrap up this uh, review by saying a couple things. First, that you know when a company does good stuff, you know you can trust them. Like, you know, I don't know, Tesla makes cool cars, you know you can trust whatever they're going to do is cool. Well, same with PD. I feel like ever since I've been using their stuff, I can trust it. Like, if they do something, it's going to be good. Proof is this guy. They've done it. It's good. They sent me this tripod to review it. Thanks, guys. I am convinced. I think this is uh, the end of my dark days with tripods. Is, this is the key to it. So, team. It's on Kickstarter, live today. Today's Tuesday. I guess it's not gonna matter in a year, but today it's on Kickstarter. They just opened it up, so. If you think you'll dig it, this is the time to get it because it's cheaper. And if you've enjoyed this video, um, hit that like button right there or there. I think it's gonna be mirrored there. And subscribe somewhere here. I'm just having fun with these videos and uh, thanks for all the comments. I really appreciate that. I read every single one of them. I try to reply to every single one of them. It's not like there's that many, I guess. It's kind of pretentious. But yeah, thanks. Love you, YouTube.